Hey, Nicole here. Um, before I begin, begin uh, this review on what was sent to me, let me first say I am not a video reviewer, guru, whatever, okay? I'm not like all these people on Facebook or YouTube or whatever, you know, these big influencers, whatever you call them. I'm old. I've got better things to do in my life than whatever, but I keep getting sent products to try in exchange for reviewing, so I review them on my blog, whatever. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to do a video this time of it. And my hair is having a hair day. Ugh. Anyway, so I got sent Paracone MD High Potency Classics Face Finishing and Firming Moisturizer to try and then review. Now, as you can tell from looking at my neck and bags and whatnot, I'm not in your 20s. So <laughs> there you go. Um, I try, I moisturize every night and every morning. That's just part of my routine. Now, I will tell you my very first impression of this and then go from there. So I opened it up and the very first thing I noticed was this god awful smell and I'm like where the hell have I s like smelt this smell before oh I remember at my freaking grandmother's house that's where okay it smells like cheap grandma rosy ish perfume it's really it's offensive to my nose. It might be not offensive to your nose, but it's offensive to my nose. So that was the first thing. I was like, I don't know if I want to try this or not, but in good spirit and because I did promise I would review it. There you go. I'm not getting paid for this, by the way. This is like your God honest everyday consumer review. Okay. So it is an off white creamy color. Okay. Um, I don't know how there we go well, well maybe not Oop. oh look at there it finally came on like I said I'm not a professional so it's like an off-white creamy color and the consistency is at first is really 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 thick okay and so I'm just gonna rub it on my crepey neck waste not want not right so as you can tell it gets rid of a little bit don't mind these these are actually scars that go across that's for a whole nother video um now i tried this i've tried this for five days in a row um one thing i've noticed that when you first put it on everybody else i've heard says it feels light to me it feels greasy but that could be just be the makeup on my skin but I have naturally really really dry skin so I don't know um, and I'm gonna put all the ingredients below so or they claim to be a holistic type company you know with a lot of natural ingredients in it it is what it is we'll just say that but like I said it leaves my skin with this greasy feeling on it okay so fast forward several hours I go do my thing whatever and then my skin doesn't feel as greasy it still feels greasy but it feels not yeah I like greasy that's what it reminds me of just almost like a really bad primer there you go I'm uh, kind of a real filmy feeling so, but the positive is I've noticed a more, like a glow to my face and a glow to my neck. You know, obviously the areas where I put it. Um, I will tell you too, that smell, that offensive smell really, really sticks. So, you know, I mean, if you're not into the whole, I want to smell like my grandma, this isn't for you. Um, but did it firm my face as it says the finishing and firming moisturizer I'm gonna say not so much but for being my age I don't have a lot of wrinkles 
so there's that I've got like little fine lines I call them my I've had children and ex-husbands lines um, but for the most part does it firm my face no does it give it a nice healthy glow compared to other moisturizers yes um, on a scale of like five stars rating one being the least like I would not recommend it to anybody and five being the like oh yes yeah, so you definitely have to go out and buy this tomorrow kind of thing um I'm gonna rate it a three again I have really naturally dry dry skin except for through here in like my t-zone then that's kind of oily especially through here but for the most part I would say it's a three I mean it's a little pricey so for people that are on a budget they're definitely not gonna be able to afford it um, like I said for my skin it did not firm it but then I don't have a lot of wrinkles my biggest problem is my neck and again I mean I've got three scars on my neck so um, so and that's for a totally different video on why they're there um, <clears throat> and the smell I can't get over the smell so I mean it's will I continue using it I don't know it just the smell is really really offensive so is it a good product is it worth the money um for me no for somebody else it might work differently so but there you go like I said again I'm not one of these beauty gurus who's like oh yes ah. and get all dolled up and whatever yeah that's not me I'm just your average everyday consumer so there you go I will be reviewing a couple more products here in the next couple days that were sent to me to try and review again I did not get paid for this um, so there you go peace have a great day